Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got these two secant lines, as you can see in this figure, such that the line segment BE is two units, and this line segment CD is four units. And now we are going to calculate this side length AB and this side length DE. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's recall this secant secant rule. If we have these two secant lines, then our this rule is going to be this outside part A times this total part is A plus B equals to this outside part which is C times this total part C plus D as you can see over here. In order to calculate this line segment AB and this line segment DE, we must first calculate the value of this X variable in both cases over here. So let's go ahead and apply this rule on this given problem. So our outside part is two. Let me just go ahead and write down two times. The total part is going to be two plus X equals to, now let's focus on this part. This is our outside part is x minus 11 divided by 2 times this total part is going to be our x minus 11 divided by 2 and then plus 4. And now let's go ahead and distribute this one that's going to give us 4 plus 2x equals to now let's focus on this part x minus 11 divided by 2 and here I have copied it down let's go ahead and simplify so let's crisscross so that is going to give us 2x minus 11 divided by we multiply these two denominators so that's going to give us 2 so therefore this part could be written as 2x minus 11 divided by 2 all right now let's focus on this part and here I have copied it down let's go ahead and take care of this constant part these numbers let's go ahead and crisscross to simplify this one so that is going to give us negative 11 plus 4 times 2 is 8 divided by 2 times 1 is 2 so this part has simply become negative 3 over 2. Therefore, this sim thing simply become x minus 3 over 2. Let's go ahead and simplify this thing. Let's put 1 underneath x. Let's crisscross once again. x times 2 is 2x minus 3 divided by 1 times 2 is 2. So therefore, this part could be written as 2x minus 3 divided by 2 and there's a multiplication sign and here in the next step I just multiplied these numerators I just put it together and the denominator 2 times 2 simply become 4 and now let's go ahead and remove this fraction by just putting 1 underneath this left hand side and now let's go ahead and cross multiply and once we cross multiply, we are going to get 4 times 4 plus 2x equals to 1 time. This is going to give us 2x minus 11 times 2x minus 3. And now let's go ahead and distribute this thing. So this is going to become 16 plus 8x equal to on the right hand side we are going to use this rainbow method double distribution to multiply so that's going to give us 4x square minus 6x minus 22x plus 33 
And here in the next step, I combine this negative 6x and negative 22x becomes negative 28x. Now let's go ahead and subtract negative 16 and minus 8x. So that's going to gone. This is gone. So we got 0 equal to 4x square minus 36x plus 17. And this equation could be written as 4x square minus 36x plus 17. And here's our next step. We are going to solve this given quadratic equation by factoring and this technique is called no fast factoring and I'm going to show you now. And we will be using this rule as long as this leading coefficient is other than 1. And now let's focus on this part only 4x. Don't worry about this exponent. And I can write this one as 4 x in parentheses times 4x again in parentheses equal to 0. Now let's go ahead and create a rainbow by multiplying this and numbers this 4 and 17. This 4 times 17 is going to become 68 and the middle number is negative 36 that's going to come at the bottom. Let's go ahead and now find the factors of 68 and that is going to be 2 and 34. If we multiply them we're going to get 68. The only thing is we need to fix these signs. So this is going to be negative 2, negative 34 and if we add them we are going to get negative 36. So thus our factors turn out to be negative 2 and negative 34. I am going to put down these one negative 2 in the first parentheses and negative 34 in the second parentheses. And now here's the next step. We are going to divide this first parentheses by 2 since 2 is in common. So I'm going to divide by 2 and here divided by 2. And likewise in the second parentheses these two numbers are divisible by 2 as well. So I can divide it by 2. So therefore we got simply 2x minus 1 times 2x minus 17 equal to 0. And now we can see we no longer have anything in common. And now let's go ahead and separate them. So I can write 2x minus 1 equal to 0 and the other one 2x minus 17 equal to 0. So that is going to give us x equal to positive 1 over 2 and on this side x is going to become positive 17 divided by 2. And now let's focus on this x equal to 1 over 2. If we put it over here 1 over 2 minus uh, 11 or 2 and that is going to give us a negative number and we know that the side length cannot be negative. So therefore we are going to reject this x equal to 1 over 2 and we are going to accept this value x equal to 17 divided by 2. Now we are going to calculate the AB value. So AB is x or I can write AB is x and x is 17 divided by 2. And now let's go ahead and calculate DE length and we know DE is uh, x minus 11 over 2 and we know x value is 17 divided by 2. So DE is going to be simply 17 divided by 2 minus 11 divided by 2. And if we simplify our DE value turns out to be 3. So thus our AB value turns out to be 17 divided by 2 and DE is 3. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.